सो गाइज एज वी नाउ हैव अ बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ वॉट इज एज थ्री वॉट आर इट्स सम फीचर्स एंड हाउ एग्जैक्टली इट वर्क नाउ लेट्स टेक अ डेमो हैंड्स ऑन यूज केस वेयर वी विल होस्ट अ स्टैटिक वेबसाइट ऑन एस थ्री सो वील स्टार्ट विथ क्रिएटिंग अ बकेट दैन वील इनेबल स्टैटिक वेबसाइट होस्टिंग ऑन दैट बकेट वील एडिट ब्लॉक पब्लिक एक्सेस सेटिंग्स and then we will add a bucket policy that makes our bucket content publicly available configure and index document test our website endpoint and clean up all these seven steps which we'll we'll try to cover in our demo so let's go to our aws console use s3 and deploy a website static website all right guys so let's type s3 let's go to s3 console the first thing we need to do is create bucket give a name for this bucket example.com because we are hosting a website uh, choose a region choose a region suitable to your uh, project i'll choose mumbai for now object ownership okay just scroll down a bit so we will enable all the public access by default all the public access is blocked for security and then we have to acknowledge the risk of uh, doing so we can also enable bucket versioning but we won't do it and the encryption we'll keep it as default and these are some advanced settings just for us to uh, you know keep in mind now once we have done all this we have to click on create bucket okay so just a second i think it should now create a bucket okay we are getting okay so we have not acknowledged the risk okay for making it public now let's create a bucket okay so we need to give a globally unique name So example dot com has been taken by someone. So let's give a unique name. Mm, let's give it AWS for dummies. Okay, now create bucket. Okay, so the bucket has been created. Highlight the bucket and go to the settings on the right. So I think rest all is looks fine. Just click on the bucket, goes to pro, go to properties, scroll down, keep scrolling till the end, and you will see the option for the static website hosting. Yeah. So edit this and enable it, and now we will select host a static website, and then we have to specify which document we want to give. so we'll put index.html and uh, that's fine just save this okay so now we have uh, we have deployed everything and we can see the url because now we have we are hosting a static website so it has created a domain url but we need to first uh, give the you know the public access to this uh, repository to for for someone to access the index.html document so we have to copy and paste this particular policy okay so this is the policy which i have pasted but it has it shows invalid resource so let's see the policy again Okay so I think I have missed the bucket name I need to put uh, enter the bucket name which is AWS for dummy so basically it is allowing every action on this particular bucket now let's save this under permissions so aws for dummies.com now has all the permissions and the bucket policy settings uh, public access settings have been updated now we will finally upload the index.html uh just upload the file wherever you can from from your local desktop so
so I have uh, stored it locally and I will now attach it into this particular folder and once it is added yeah so now it is added in next.html now just click on upload highlight this and click on upload okay so the file has been uploaded and if we have done things correctly the the domain url which we have got for this one should work with this particular page so let's click on this particular url on the browser perfect so it gives us this is a learning platform for everyone it or non it now hosted on amazon s3 so this was the content of the index.html and this brings us to the end of this uh, demo uh, we have just hosted a static website on s3 see you in the next chapter